from Massachusetts. Ms. Wojcicki, uh, you, you claimed that 23andMe is all about consumer empowerment, but most people ended up actually exploited, not knowing that they signed up to have their genetic data auctioned off to the highest bidder. We're not just talking about email addresses. We're talking about names, birth dates, genetic lineages, literal DNA, data that implicates entire families, not just the person who gave the sample. Ms. Wojcicki, can genetic data, even if de-identified, be linked back to individuals? Mm -hmm. I appreciate that question. Um, could genetic data be linked back to individuals? you would, um, you can link back. Your DNA is, is your DNA. If I have a way of matching it to something that potentially connects okay. to you, then you could potentially identify. So the answer is yes. The answer is yes. The genetic data, even if de-identified, can be linked back to individuals, just the science. Well, to... No, DNA, if, if I had your sample, essentially if I know what your picture looks like and I see another picture, I can connect those. But just having your DNA alone, if I just went to the subway and I swabbed it and I'm I looked sorry, at samples, let me I would not be able to identify my, my who was there. Because I'm, I don't have much of it and there's a lot of ground I need to cover here and so I, I want a more direct question here. So I'm going to go to Ms. Who. Is de-identified genetic data truly anonymous or can it be traced back to individuals? Ms. Wu. Thank you so much, Congresswoman. I'm not um, a scientific expert on that exactly, but there has been research on the limits of de-identification and also the risks of re-identification. All right, fair enough, yes, it absolutely can. With just a few pieces of additional information, like zip codes, gender, um, or 23andMe's find your relative feature it becomes easy to re-identify people and to expose their personal health information. 23andMe's privacy agreement talks about anonymous data, but DNA can never truly be anonymous. That is the point. Now, uh, Ms. Wojcicki, you, you said a limited number of customers were compromised by the data breach, but the truth of the matter is that out of the 15 million people who trusted this company, half of them Seven million had their data exposed. So that, that's not uh, inconsequential, it's deeply consequential. And now, that same data can be sold off to a for-profit pharmaceutical company so you can understand why people are rushing to delete their accounts. But the thing is, when people have tried to log in and delete their data, they received error messages and then the website crashed. That is not okay. Your company, is preventing people from deleting their information. Mr. Cell Savage, it's time to put people first. Will you contact each of your customers seeking consent for 23andMe to continue holding their data? Yes or no? Um, be a simple opt-in communication that you send out before any bankruptcy sale. I want to really underscore that. Um, Congresswoman, we first have sent a notice out to all of our customers um, via email my time notifying so them of the, of the you, sale and that we, a second email is currently going out this week notifying so that their sale is my time. Okay. Please just answer the question yes or no, okay? Will you commit to contacting each of your customers seeking consent for 23andMe to continue holding their data this should be a simple opt-in communication that you send out before any bankruptcy sale, yes or no. Congresswoman, it's not that simple. We believe we've already received that consent. Why not? These consent. people are deserving of this, uh, you know, these assurances and this insurance. They're, they're already, uh, they've been violated in so many ways here. Ms. Wojcicki, will you amend your bid to commit to a similar consent requirement then? I don't believe I can talk extensively about my bankruptcy, about the, the bid, but I can say in the past, for example, when we did the GSK partnership, we proactively communicated with all customers I know that. with that I link. know that, I know that, I know that. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. It is just not good enough. People trusted you with their more personal information. Show them you respect them. They do not need your apologies anymore, and they don't need your sympathy. What they need is legal protection. So if you're not able to protect the 15 million people and their families who trusted you, this company should not exist. 
the breach of data, the breach of civil liberties, the confusion this has caused for millions, it, it might just be time to give it up. I yield back. Chair, now recognize 